All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this into the train. That way I can say I'm the first person probably ever to have solar cooked inside a train. And then I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown on the actual table again itself. Okay, so because this uh, was so hot, and you're technically not supposed to preheat it, but uh, I kind of have been doing this for a while. It's actually actively cooking right now. So let's check out this train. Set it here. Let it cook my croissants. Alright, so here's active breakdown. Um, I could probably get this to be lighter. I did oak, and you're more than welcome to replicate this. But the main first thing is the slats here. Now, the really tricky part was to get this frame to be somewhat stable, and so my solution was actually to drill some holes that go into each individual leg. So now, for these, um, I actually have a little magnet here, and I just kind of have some duct tape, so it's a little janky. Could probably work on something better. Um, and then for the this frame part here, uh, I have these bed frames, and then those actually fit in to some kind of like a barrel, barrel uh, screws that you'd have in like a bed frame. And I actually left my Allen wrench somewhere so I did. These are all hand tight, but with an Allen wrench it gets a lot firmer. That final portion there is uh, is the, the main stand. Part of this uh, is I just kind of embedded these uh, bolts into the side here and then I make the wing nuts to make it real easy to operate. And finally then I'll just uh, take them all and group them together in these straps I have. There's a look at the uh, total table there. It's uh, it's almost impossible to find something like this in an outdoor st store. Now let's take a look at our croissants. Oh yes. And I'd say those are done. So there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, your first solar cooking inside of a train. Maybe, maybe, at least old coal train. <laughs>